Good afternoon, folks. Happy Wednesday, and you are halfway through the week. Congratulations to you. We're nearly there. We are two days away, under two days away now, if you're watching this on the way home from work, from being done with this week and putting another one in history books, which would be really good, because, you know, it's good to get reps in when you get work and you're trying to, you know, not lose your mind. First of all, if you like what I do, please um, try and support the people who support me. In mind, the goods merchant. This is an extremely talented guy who is actually helping me write the current uh, RPG setting for our new RPG that's going to be coming in the winter for you all to start playing on the channel. But if you like RPG stuff and you like D&D stuff, you would really like basically every single product that Tim from the Goods Merchant sells. <laughs> Essentially, especially things like this, which is the uh, really nice, if you're looking at it, uh, really nice Dungeon Master screen down here. We have uh, dice rollers here as well. You can get Warhammer specific dice rollers, screens, and all sorts of things, even dice holders. That you can have a look at on there. The link is in the description down below. If you use the promo code Northern Exile, you will get 10% off at checkout, which is a pretty good deal, if you ask me. So, yeah, thank you very much to them for supporting the channel. Also, if you like what I do, then, you know. Have a little look at Patreon. Have a little look at becoming a member of the channel. Every little bit helps, and I really do mean that. You, I really appreciate every single one of you who talks to me on Patreon as well. Um, you are you have a direct line through to me, where you don't have to wait to get uh, to get to talk to me. As soon as I see anything on Patreon, um, I put some time aside and I come back and I have a little talk to you. So um, yeah, and if you have any hobby nightmares, come on the Discord and please send them to me because. I'm officially down to my last 10, which is great, which means I'm getting through them, but it also means that, you know, I'd like some more, please. So, give them to me. Let me have a little read. So today, we are going, uh, again, as I said the other day, I'm going to do these videos uh, with shorter time frames and, and shorter time stamps, if you know what I mean, uh, for the stories. I'm not going to be doing, like, huge, impacted, long stories. So, if you can send them to me, I may chop them down with your permission to make them shorter. Because, you know, I don't want people sitting around trying to get to the point of a story for half an hour before we get there. Because, you know, that's boring. And that's not what we want. So, Wind88 says... By the way, none of these stories did that. These were all really nice stories. So, Wind88 says... Um, Hi again, Exile. Hello, Wind. Uh, had another hobby story that may hit a soft spot in your heart. As it involves getting some hot revenge on a type of gamer you and most of us have had to deal with in the past. Let's call this story... Hot Revenge. <laughs> I'm really worried for this one. This could get... In fact, I've only ever, I've only read one of these <laughs> so far. I Because I go through and I make sure that the grammar's alright, but I don't really I skim read them, if anything. Okay, so... Wind says... We had a group of six to eight players that gamed in our university student study building on Friday nights and weekends. Wow, that sounds cool. Two of our players were what you had described well in one of your stories. Moochers. Never contributing to the group, uh, to the group bought pizza, and then asking if they could have the pieces left after everyone had taken their first piece. Ooh, borrowing a soda constantly, but never bringing any for themselves or anybody else. They had money, but never thought it made sense to contribute. Be uh, better to use it for their food and beverage service. Yeah, do you know what? Um, I have come across a lot of people like that at university, and they always tended to be nerds from like well-to-do families that have had that had money they were just so i've never known cheaper people we had this one guy who um if ever, any of you ever meet a friend of mine called steady yeah i met him at university we used to have this one guy who would go for a drink with us and me and steady he steady would drink a guinness extra cold and i would drink a grolsch you know men of culture and our friend comes down let's call him steve he comes down and he's, you know, he's from quite a quite a well-off family in London. You know, he's he's quite eccentric and all that. But he's he's a big Uber nerd, and so he's he's a nice guy most of the time. Anyway, he comes in and, and he gets in a round with us. Okay, fair enough. So so you know, he gets us a round in. So we, I get a Grolsch, a Guinness, and whatever, and, and he gets a, a really cheap vodka, whatever it is, you know. And then when it comes to Steady's round, Steady says, "Okay, what do you guys want?" I say, "Do you know what? I, I'll stick with the Grolsch, you know." And I'll do a short on my round. You know, I'll, I'll get us some whiskey on my round. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Steve then says, I'll have a, a glass of Crystal, please. Crystal Skull. You know, Crystal, Crystal Skull. Okay, fair enough. So he goes and 
and gets him this this uh, neat vodka. Come and it comes back and steady looks at me and says, "Jesus, that that round was expensive. That, ne that was nearly a whole tenner. And this in a student bar, that's a lot." And we looked and we knew it wasn't us. And and Steve was like, "Yeah, well, you know, it's probably this. It's really nice." He'd, without even thinking, he'd gotten a really expensive drink on our round when he'd been getting cheapo drinks the entire night for himself. Do you know what I mean? And there were lots of people. That, that was like a a, a a light offender. There were lots of other people who simply would just not contribute to anything, whether it be rounds or they, they would partake. Oh, they would partake. They would they would they would partake in your pizza that you ordered. They would partake in the Chinese food that you ordered and all that, but they would never actually put anything in. Um, that is a common phenomenon, and I don't know what it, where it comes from. Answers answers in the description. Uh, sorry, in the comments. But anyway. We finally had enough, said Wind, and enacted our hot revenge plan one Friday night. One of our gamers worked at the local pizza place and we had him spice, spice up two pizzas of pizza with the hottest sauce and peppers they had. These two pieces would be under the little plastic cup that held the pizza cover over the pizza. A sign was hung on the local water cooler 30 yards away that said, out of order. We then also briefed the other players to, to be sure to pick up their cans of soda when these two, two players picked up the hot pizza so that they couldn't snatch a soda to drown the impending oral fire. The trap was set. We ordered from our local pizzeria, knowing our gaming friend would be cooking and, deli and delivering our pizza. When he delivered it, we generously tipped him and he winked at us, letting us know the die was cast. We all selected a piece of pizza, carefully avoiding the two pieces under the plastic cup. As if on cue, the two moochers asked if they could have, have the last two pieces, and we nodded enthusiastically. No problem. Everyone around the table that had already picked up their pizza and their sodas in a perfectly choreographed ballet. The two rats then began to devour their pizza. Rat number one stopped chewing suddenly. He saw the amused looks on our faces and said, You assholes, lucky, you're lucky I like hot pizza, and wolfed down the rest. Rat number two began to turn three shades of red quickly and bolted from the table, running past the water cooler and down the, to the next cooler some 200 yards away. Rat one began to wave his hand in front of his now open mouth as if to cool the imaginary fire in his mouth. It didn't work and he ran to the out of order water cooler in a panic, ignoring the sign and rinsing his mouth with a suddenly functional cooler. No one was permanently injured of course. And, they, they, and even they got a laugh out of it after the steam had subsided. They sheepishly returned to our game and sure enough were a bit more contributing when it came to the group food and drink purchases in the future. It's all fun and games in the end. Wind. Lovely story. Brilliant story. And, and this is the kind of ribbing that you want to be doing on your friends. Especially when they're cheap and they're doing your head in. This is the kind of thing that you really want to be doing. Um, good natures. All nerds. We're all nerds here. We're all friends here. Unless you're that guy, then, you know, is what it is. Uh, Based Zuma says, This story might be a little more personal than my previous one that I posted on Discord, but I thought I should share it regardless. In many ways, it could be called a story of how the Black Legion and Death Guard gave me something to do in my most trying times. So, without further ado, here it is. Back in December 2018, around my 17th birthday, I began to experience the crippling pain of chronic illness, which is probably the worst form of pain I've ever endured. Not knowing what I was suffering from and being left home over the holiday due to all my family going away on holiday, I would spend these weeks at home and lost a good 15, 13 to 15 kilograms just due to the horrible pain when I would eat something. Nevertheless, with the weeks past, my parents came back from their holiday in England and had ordered over 200 pounds, free shipping over 200 pounds, I believe, worth of Warhammer for my birthday slash Christmas gift, as it's cheaper than buying directly from a country of, of, of origin by a huge margin. Anyways, after a short amount of time, sickly me had found myself with a Death Guard army consisting of the Death Guard Christmas box of 2018. Oh, that's a really good box. That is a really good box. Uh, two Blight Haulers, an extra Plague Marine squad, some HQs, and a small Pox Walker boxes, etc. Yeah, that is a really good value box. Too bad they don't sell it anymore, really, but really good. The irony of falling victim to the Gifts of Decay, just in time for starting my Death Guard army, wasn't missed, missed on me. And to be quite honest, 
uh, makes me identify with the Legion far more. Sometimes I feel like I can, re I can relate to them, believe it or not. Sadly, it would only be a few weeks later that I would be able to enjoy the army as I collapsed in agony a day before my last year of high school was set to start, February, and was put in hospital for over a week. Well, during this time, I was very much a sickly skeleton with all the weight loss, especially since I was rather skinny fella back then. So, after feeling like I was about to meet Mortarion, the Grim Reaper of Death, it really felt like, it really felt like that sometimes, even, even if I didn't have the energy to think. I was given a diagnosis and sent home to recover for what was initially planned to be a few weeks. But my experiences with the illness, it turned out, uh, had forever changed my character from what I was before. Well, I hope you change for the better, not like Caligula did. Like the Roman Emperor Caligula, he was like a really cool emperor until he was sick. I mean, and we still don't know what it, what it was. But when he came back, he was like some sadistic asshole. But then, no, we'll see. A change that came, that came with a great deal of mental anguish as I realised that, like Cadia, a Blackstone fortress worth of problems had shattered my life. Why was I a, why was I a rotting corp? Uh, sorry, why was I cursed with this disease so, lo so young? What is the point of anything anymore? My body feels like a rotting corpse, so why should I care about my own being? Thoughts that would translate into attempted suicide, depression, anxiety, hatred, and despair that was all made worse by medication giving me terrible insomnia. I simply wasn't the kid of a few months ago, and it became rather obvious and even horrifying to those around me. Overall, the situation would calm along with the, with the normalization of the medicine. Well, that's good. That's good. I was about to like, hope that you were doing better, but anyway. However, that may have helped with my physical conditions and sleep to an extent, but it still wasn't enough to give me the metaphorical stomach to go to school as previous times attempting it, this was hell. Opting to stay at home, I would start to be on my PC all day and reflect on all the thoughts I had, mostly negative and dangerous. When I wasn't doing these things, however, I would, I would put that Death God army in mind and keep myself busy, and soon the army was taking shape. Having made my custom paint scheme and swept through what models I had in the coming months, including the ones I had from the 8th edition small starter set I got a year ago, I would get another Blight Hauler, the Death Guard half of the big starter set, and even a Heresy Era Typhus, and, and did buy a little from my local store. I still was not going to school at this time. Come June, I was almost finished with everything, I needed something new to do, and decided I should update my Black Legion and the, and the new, with the new range of models. A perfect time to do so during this time, the 2019 Apocalypse box sets were coming out and my parents flew to the UK again so I was able to get myself 30 Chaos Bikes, 6 uh, Marines, 6 Bikes and a Terminator Lord from the box along with some other smaller box sets. Awesome. So once again, I was at it again and had, sig and si and had significantly improved my skill from my previous Black Legion models uh, which I was happy to see. In the coming months, I would continue to add more to both respective forces, with me finally buying Abaddon the Despoiler, the, the leader of the Black Legion I had started the hobby with years before. A model that, despite the hefty price from being in the local Games Workshop store, is a character I always have had a sentimental attachment to, especially when with him, my force felt fully complete. With exception to a few occasions, I would never truly return to school that year, a fact that certainly played into my isolation and melancholy slash cynicism, which are now permanent additions to my character, unfortunately. Although most of my time at home was spent on my PC, I still regret using all those school hours on creating the, uh, those two Warhammer armies. So I still won't regret you know, spending those two, uh, all those school hours creating those two Warhammer armies. They're kind of like the toys that have a sentimental attachment to to me despite how embarrassed I feel about how they've ultimately just they are ultimately just pieces of plastic. In closing, the hobby didn't help any of my problems in a meaningful way and probably only served as a form of escapism from the reality surrounding myself that uh, then and now as the same problems still linger on just as much potent with just, just as much potency as before. But when looking back, I can at least still proudly say to myself that that, that time wasn't all in vain as I was able to make two kick-ass armies. In shame and shadow recast, the black and gold reborn. Oh, very nice. And yeah, I felt like writing this wall of text after experiencing some chronic pain just as worse as the one I made that made me collapse in agony all those years back, which reminded me of that time. Okay. Um, well, I hope, Base Zuma, you're doing much better. I hope that you're... 
health problems are getting better, and if those aren't getting better, I would definitely suggest taking those two armies and going and playing a few games, getting yourself out there. Baby steps. Baby steps is the best thing to do with things like this. Always make sure that you're not putting yourself under too much pressure. You're doing a little bit at a time, going and playing a game here. Uh, maybe like a kill team game or a small appointed game, things like that. And work your way up to being, you know, an, uh, I would say a normal person, but a more sociable person. I will say this now. The very reason why I record these um, videos later on at night these days is because when I'm working from home or I'm going to a school to work and I come back, I feel like I spent all day in front of a computer and that's not healthy. So what I try and do now is I will, you know, if I, if I can work, if I got a working from home day, I'll record my videos that night, the night before, and then I'll take my laptop and go and work somewhere else. I'll go to a gaming cafe or whatever. I'll meet people after I've, I've done a bit of work and it helps my um, outlook on life so much more. I feel energized, I feel happy. I feel like I've done something with my day and it just gives me that, I'm gonna say a, a, a mental foundation to build other things on. If you're sitting at home stewing and getting lost in really bad thoughts, the self-loathing starts and the self-poisoning starts and the foundation that you're going to build everything else on starts to become sandy, starts to become sand instead of an actual foundation. The best thing, way to combat that is to get out there and start building yourself up slowly. But, you know, email me, get involved in a Discord and start putting those foundation blocks in place. That is my... That is my uh, suggestion to you. So, James Arch says, Hey, Exile, just a quick message as I need a bit of advice. Uh, my brother was a huge hobbyist and was really into Black Templars, like 7,000 points worth of the boys in black. We used to head to a few tournaments together, but we would also have big narrative games in a, in a Newcastle bar known as the Tap House. It changed its name uh, recently, but if you ask for it in Newcastle, somebody will point you in the right direction if you fancy a pint and a game of 40k. Anyway, to the point. We were very close, of course, and as we shared almost everything in the game and beyond. He passed away a few months ago. Oh, shit. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. Uh, rather suddenly, and I, don't, and I don't really want to get into the details, but it was not suicide. It was a sudden disease. Since then, I've been talking to his school, he was a teacher, and we are getting together a big Warhammer group for the students and teachers in his name. I was wondering if you had any advice on getting started. What should we be getting first? Is there anything to look out for? Uh, what sort of points should, be, sort of point should we be aiming for for our games? Are we allowed to photocopy rule books? I will be using my brother's Black Templars as my own from now on. I am a fully converted brother in, in grief, determined to purge and take my sadness on, out on the enemies of the Emperor. I used to play Orcs. Thanks for everything, James. Um, well, I'm first of all, my sincere condolences to you. Um, this was sent to me on an email, so if you don't mind getting involved in the in the uh, Discord, there'll be a lot of people there who can help you out with advice and things like that. I'm really glad you reached out to me, though, because I'd like to, to do this for you. If you want to send me uh, an email... Oh, you have sent me an email. Uh, okay. Ah, I was going to ask that question. Okay, yeah. So your, your brother's name is David. So um, I'm really sorry about David, uh, my mate. Uh, really sorry about that. I hope you start to heal. I cannot even begin to imagine what you're going through. Uh, that really, really sucks. And I know you're putting on a brave face here. This is the kind of message that I would write if I was if I was suffering. You know, I'm just like, just to the point. Give me your advice. I don't want pity. But you, regardless, mate, you, you have it because um, it, it really, it really does suck. And I know, I know you sending this in though will help a lot of people who are listening to this and are also suffering through loss and whatever it is. So thank you very much for sending it in, and, and I hope things get better. And if I ever am in Newcastle, I am planning to be pretty soon. I will definitely look you up, and we'll go for a pint of uh, uh, your finest Newcastle brown ale. I'll get some of that down me whilst I'm up there, and we'll play a few games. So make sure you email me, get involved in the Discord. So. Back to your questions. Um, is there anything that you advice you're getting started? So, um, I actually have an email for you. So, I'm going to send it probably tomorrow morning. Um, it is lo it's a lovely lady up at GWHQ who I will um, get an email to 
and I'll send it tonight and I will, once I get the go-ahead from her, I will send you an email with her details, put you in touch. She can get you stuff for your school league or your school group. Um, if I tell her your story and, and, and get involved, she'll probably be able to get you quite a few things. So it depends what you're asking for. Um, we could probably sort you out a few armies. There, there shouldn't be a problem. A few full armies. In terms of uh, and, and of course rule books and, and measurement tapes and things like that, not a problem. In terms of starting games, I would probably say around 500 points for kids in school. Those are games that you can play over a lunch break that you can actually get you know, you know a, a reasonable uh, time out of. Uh, or even an after school club. <clears throat> I would do it after school for like an hour or two and do like 500 point games, maybe do like a, a campaign. There is a campaign starter set that you can get from Games Workshop, so I'll throw that in the email as well. Because um, they give you like a, a, a planetary map that you can start colouring in and things as kids start conquering bits of territory. It's really pretty cool. So I'll make sure that you get that sent that we get that sent over to you as well. Um, so I need from you. I need a school name. I need a, a teacher to get in touch with. So we need someone who's going to be responsible for the kids who's got a, a qualification, a teaching qualification. Uh, yourself, because you're now the go-between, you're the contact, and you know something about your story as well. So if you want to pen that yourself, go ahead, or I can do it. And I will send it in, um, and we'll get you your stuff sent to you, no problem. All right, um, that's no problem. In terms of if you can photocopy rule books, yes, um, not a problem. Again, as long as you're not selling it, you can you can photocopy it, no problem, and you can you can use it in, in, in different ways. There's no no problem with that. Um, the best thing to do is, is to not ask permission to do things like that. Just do it because at the end of the day. Not every one of your kids is going to buy a rule book. That's in the ideal scenario for Games Workshop. They'll, they, that will be the case, but, you know. Um, so, photocopying is fine. What you should be getting first? Well, you will already be getting uh, full armies first. Normally, GW, they like to make sure that you're getting different alliances. So, you'll be getting a Space Marine army, a Death Guard army. There'll be a Black Legion army. There'll be, you know, there'll be there'll be uh, 500 to 1,000 points of each coming your way, probably. Uh, I'm not going to uh, promise you that, but... Every single time I've done this in the past, that's what's turned up because the people at Games Workshop who are doing the outreach programs of schools are some of the best people who work for Games Workshop, and they don't give a shit. They will just throw they will throw models at you to tell them to stop. So um, scenery too. I hope we can get you some scenery as well. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that is my hobby nightmares for today. No nightmares today. I wanted it to be a nice, uplifting session for you all to get you through the rest of your week. And you know what? We do enough of these that are pretty ominous and pretty not nasty, but you know, not not great in terms of people getting pissed off and people <clears throat> people having to get into arguments and marriages and marriages ending and things like that. So you know, I thought I'd do an uplifting one today to make sure that you all had. You know, a nice day, and, and we'll get back to the school duggery and, and horribleness tomorrow and uh, and Friday. So I'll see you then. If you like what I do, check out the disc, uh, check out the Discord. It's free. Check out the Patreon. Check out becoming a member of the channel. All that fun stuff. I love you all a long time, and I'll speak to you on on Thursday. Speak to you tomorrow. Have a good one.